And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, El Toro. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Dustin the Diamond Warrior. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here's the former UFC interim lightweight champion, Dustin Poirier, the future Hall of Famer, believed he would have a decided striking advantage in this matchup. We'll see if he can get the hands going here early in this round. That is a damaging kick that lands. Lands a big right hand early. Oh, big elbow. They're certainly getting after it early. That one connected. Is here. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Clipped him with the right hand there. Clean with the right hook. And yet another hook landed there by Dustin Poirier. Oh, flying knee to the dome. So we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now. Because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Landing it well here. Good action early. Oh! This is a great fight. Nice level change for Poirier. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Poirier gets back up. Beautiful diving strike land. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Beautiful leg kick lands. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. That opened up a cut above the eye here. Been there at times, not on that attack. Oh, it's huge, huh? He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. He does a great job getting out of that clutch position. Just over two minutes, round one. Takedown defense holds up. Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, so the king of Lafayette, Louisiana, Dustin Whoa! That landed close. Yeah. 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 the kick. So, and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Staying busy in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. Right. Oh, 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 oh. He can't even stand. So the cut really starts.
starting to open up wider now, and you gotta credit this striker for, for continuing to attack that area. Just knowing the target, knowing what he's supposed to do, and doing it as effectively as he is right now. This guy's tremendous. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done. Oh! So the round is over, but not before he got that cut on his forehead. We'll see if that becomes a factor later in this fight. Cut man set to earn his money here. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Nice jab by Fourier. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking game. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. And now some separation. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blow, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head. Oh! And back to his feet. This striking display tonight as he lands yet another knee right there. Several have already landed in this round, and you can see they're really starting to take their toll on the opposition at this point in the fight. And he blocks the shot there. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there, and not gonna help the swelling upstairs. I love this accuracy, this ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. Well, there's a swing and a miss. His cardio is really abandoning him at this stage of the fight. And sometimes when you miss, it can tax your gas tank even further. So let's see if he can preserve some stamina and try to figure out a way to get back in this fight. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. So that cut continues to get more severe with every passing moment of the fight. Every moment. You know, when you get cut in a fight, you expect for it to worsen because you're not going to not get hit anymore. Right now, he's got to do something to try to limit the damage. Otherwise, he's going to get real bad. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. That Dosh choke is tight. Oh, let's get submitted. Oh, that was good, but he got out. That was beautiful submission defense by this guy. And now he reverses position. Wow. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Well, this boy talked about this before fighting out of his style tonight, but realizing a lot of success with his takedowns, I guess he was sick of be calling him just a one-trick punch. I called him a one-trick pony, and I think he might have tried to take down early and worked, but he goes, you know what? I'm going to keep going to the well. He can't stop him. Why should I change it? The level changes have looked great. The finishes have looked great. His intensity on his takedowns has looked great. He's doing everything right. I cannot critique this man anymore. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hit the skate. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, opens the guard. Now stacked guard. 
Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't been back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Poirier's doing a nice job protecting the eye with that block. You don't want to absorb any more damage on that cut. This is big. That's big. Oh, nice elbow. Take your time. Take your time. Misses with the right hand. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this fight. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Final seconds. Master of the transition. Nice scramble. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walked back to the corner. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go. Third and final round. Watch right to the former interim lightweight champ, Dustin Poirier, in a... Oh! Great block there. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed without him. Great diversity in his attack. Nice elbow from the clinch. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Here we go inside the Octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 29 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, El Toro. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up.